Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you Apollonius theorem. Okay, so what exactly is Apollonius theorem? Uh, it's very simple. In a triangle ABC, if AD is a median, what is median means? Median is a line from this from a vertex to the base such that it will divide the base side into equal parts. Okay, so AD is a median, and we need to prove that AB square plus AC square AB square plus AC square equal to 2 AD square. Or the AB square plus AC square equal to 2 AD square plus 2 uh, BD square. Fine. So we will start the proof. But before that, we will need to think a bit of how will we proceed. Yeah. There are square terms involved. There are the sides involved. So how will we proceed? So one thing comes in my mind that I should use Pythagoras. Okay, because everything is in a square, so there is a possibility of having Pythagoras theorem. So how do I do that? I need to identify it. I, so how do I identify it? See, AB square and AC square, AB square and AC square, that means there must be a Pythagoras, there must be a height here somewhere. Okay, so then and then only we will get this height, uh, we will get this uh, side as an uh, LHS. So, what I'll do, I'll draw a perpendicular. I'll draw a perpendicular. And I'll mark it as E. And so, we need to have a construction. Construction is draw a E. Perpendicular to me. Okay, now let's start. So to get AB square and AC square, I will have to apply Pythagoras in ABE and ACE. So in triangle ABE angle AED equal to 90 degree. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, a Pythagoras theorem, AB square equal to AE square plus BE square. Fine. Similarly, in triangle ACE, angle AEC equal to 90 degree. Therefore, AC square equal to AE square plus EC square. This is our second equation. Okay, so now we have this. Now what we want AD part. AD part. So for that AD, I will have to apply Pythagoras in AED. Okay, so in triangle AED. Angle AED equal to 90 degree. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, AD square equal to AE square plus ED square. Okay. Now, what I'll do, I'll add this to Okay, and I'll, I'll, I'll keep this AD square on the right hand side. Okay, so how do I do that? But before that, before doing that, you should note that it is 2. Okay, it is 2 AD square. So what I'll do, multiply both sides by 2. So we'll get AD square twice AD square equal to twice AE square plus twice AD square. So now this is our third equation. What I'll do, I'll add 1 and 2. Adding 1 and 2, okay, we get AB square plus AC square equal to twice of AE square plus BB square plus AC square. Now, I will subtract 
subtract, subtract 4 and 3. So we get 4 and 3 we are subtracting. So it is AB square plus AC square minus 2AB square equal to 2AE square plus BE square plus AC square minus 2AE square minus 2AB square. Okay, so this goes off. Now we are left with AB square plus AC square minus twice of AD square equal to BE square plus EC square minus 2 AD square. Okay. Now, now what we will do, we will write BD as BD minus ED. So this is BD minus ED, the whole square. Plus, how, what I what will do for EC, I will write ED plus BC minus 2 ED square. This is BD square minus 2 BD into ED plus ED square plus ED square plus 2 into ED into BC plus BC square minus 2 ED square. Okay, so this ED, ED and with this ED goes off. So we are left with BD square minus 2 BD ED plus 2 ED DC plus DC square. Now note that, say here we have ED, ED, BD. So BD and DC are same. BD and DC are same. So this can be written as BD square minus 2 BD ED plus 2 ED BD plus BD square. Okay, so this goes up now and we are left with 2 BD square. So, so I will put, I will send this to right hand side. So therefore, AB square plus AC square equal to 2 BD square plus 2 BD square. Okay, so this is our final proof, final Apollonius theorem proof. Okay, so I hope you have understood. Uh, if still you have not understood then, so just let me know, uh, comment in the comment section so that I can uh, go through and I can uh, clear your doubts. Thank you. Thank you for watching.